All right, so when I flip through some of my cookbooks, or this one specifically, I, I really try to stay in one cookbook so I'm not pulling out 90 cookbooks all week long, but sometimes it doesn't work that way. But I did get some recipes from here. Bacon cheeseburger pasta, easiest ever chicken pot pie, Parmesan crusted chicken cutlets, and some pizzas that we're gonna make with Pillsbury biscuit mix. Biscuit, you know, the cam two biscuits. Uh, these are things I need to do. I just need to make the chicken spaghetti, which I did, and pasta I still need to do. Then um, Salt and Lavender, I follow her on Instagram, and she did a bacon and ranch post as I was looking through this cookbook. I opened my phone to add some items to my grocery list, and Instagram was open, and that's the first post I, that's the first thing I saw when I opened my phone, so I, I added that, but I'm not sure if I'll make it. And then I carried on to write the grocery list that I need I made a quick grocery list and then next week I was thinking about doing the rustic farmhouse chicken from this same cookbook. It's pretty similar to a chicken pot pie one, so I didn't want to do them both together. Although they, however, they share a lot of the same ingredients like the heavy cream that I'll need to use up. So whenever I make a recipe like this and I have to buy a bunch of things that I may not completely use up. I try to find I try to find a recipe to make up for the leftovers. So I'll shop my fridge and my pantry first and I'll be like, oh, I need to find a recipe that uses buttermilk because I still have buttermilk from the corn dogs. And then sometimes I'll go on the internet and I'll just one of my favorite sites to go to is I'll show you. Alright, here I am at all recipes. You can, there's two different ways to get here from the phone. It's not the same. Um, I like to use this search right here so that I can add different ingredients. I know that I want to get rid of chicken, so I'm just going to put chicken as the main title there. And I know I want to get rid of heavy cream, so I added that to the ingredients that I'd like the recipes to have. So then it gives you all the chicken recipes that use heavy cream. And then when you find one, Something that I suggest doing, whether it's Pinterest or all recipes or literally anywhere, when you get to a recipe, hit print recipe as soon as you can find it. And that will help you avoid having all of the ads pop up in your face when you're trying to read the recipe. So on Pinterest, sometimes you have to click jump to recipe first and then print. But wherever you can find it, as soon as you get to the recipe from Pinterest or here on all recipes, hit print as soon as you can and view the recipe from there. And that will save you a lot of headache with all of these ads jumping up all over the place. And when you're in this search bar, the other search bar doesn't let you do it. It always works on a web browser, but you need to look at this little magnifying glass right there because it's that search that'll let you do what I'm about to show you. The other way, you you can't. <laughs> you have to write a title in. But this way, you can use just an ingredient search. Where I had chicken before, where it said keywords, I don't have anything written there now at all. This will allow me to search just, what am I writing? Vinegar. <laughs> That's one of the ingredients. Why would I want to get rid of vinegar? I always have vinegar. Vinegar is like never expires. It does, but you know what I mean. So say the say I don't know what I want to make. I just know I want to get rid of vinegar and asparagus. If I just type the ingredients in without a title, it just gives me a bunch of recipes using vinegar and asparagus or whatever ingredients you'd like to get rid of. I have better luck if I just do one ingredient. Um, but, you know, if your ingredients kind of go together, I would add those in the search and see if you can come up with something. And that's what I came up with there. When Walmart pickup didn't have everything that I needed. I made another list. Like, they didn't give me my Ritz or my rotisserie chicken. I forgot tortillas. They didn't give me this cheese. So I made another list just specifically for Instacart where I got the grocery. Fred Meyer or Kroger, depending on where you're from. It's Fred Meyer here. And that's where I put healthy drinks because I'm sick and I just needed something quick. I totally forgot the letter T in there, and that's great. A can of soup just in case I couldn't function, which I can't. And I wrote down some other items that I would need, and then I ended up doing two hauls. I did Walmart and Fred Meyer. One from Walmart pickup, and then another Fred Meyer Instacart delivery. That's what I'm gonna work on this week. Walmart, I got heavy cream for my chicken pot pie. A bunch of tea. I noticed my tea was expiring and old, like I'm talking about super expired. And then I'm sick also, so I got some lemon zinger. Some lunch meat, just because I like making those pinwheels. And then the grands, this is gonna be for the pizzas. When I can taste, I'm gonna make a peppermint mocha. 
and then we've got some Santina chips because I've been wanting some nachos. Bisquick to go with the meals that I was making this week. More Fairlife milk and some more assorted tea. Look at all those different teas we have there. Then over here on this side, I have panko. I'm going to be using that for the cr Parmesan crusted chicken. Some cornstarch, that's more or less just for my son doing science. <laughs> and then the pie crust for the easy pie recipe, chicken pot pie. All the recipes I feel like needed Parmesan, so I got a bunch of those. And some raspberries, blackberries, blueberries that are going to be gone in one sitting. They didn't have Fontina for the pizza, so I got Gruyere. And then some singles. These are the drinks that I ended up getting. Some kiwis and sandwich bags. I was running low on parchment paper and sugar and we got a bunch of non-food items like floss. I have a refill, a giant soap refill, but I was just too lazy. I just bought <laughs> soap instead. Triple paste for the baby's butts, some lotion, more Fairlife, some crackers, I always keep Ritz graham crackers and saltines in the house, and I was out of all of them. Then some tomato sauce, some pizza sauce for the easy pizzas. That's going to be for the bacon ranch chicken on salt and lavender page. The pasta to go with all of the meals I'm making this week. We move on over. I've got bananas, some vegetables for the easy chicken pot pies. My husband really likes those chicken strips. I got some more chicken nuggets for the kids apples that are already gone <laughs> and then I need um, my husband needed orange juice to go and oranges I've got here and some chicken and then we saw big orange juice in the back there my husband drinks a ton of juice from Fred Meyer I have like I said a ton of juice cranberry watermelon and that peach is actually really good I drink some of it I don't typically drink juice that's the soup I got because I was feeling kind of crappy and every time I look at it I don't even want to eat it and that's <laughs> where my life is they did a buy one, get one Instacart for that chicken. So it was a really good deal. I was pleased with that. And I also needed, like I said, the Ritz. They forgot. They gave me two boxes. I don't know why they gave me two boxes of Ritz, but here we are. The borscht and cheese is going to go in that easy chicken pot pie recipe I'm excited to try. I needed more eggs. Oats I usually get uh, glyphosate free organic from Amazon, but I didn't have time to wait. I also bought some of this that I thankfully can't taste. I tasted it the first day. It was horrible and now I've lost my taste and smell. But I've just been chugging those trying to get something healthy because I can barely feed myself. Eggnog. And look at this, man. Two for $10. If I had shopped for it myself, I would have just bought two. But instead, I ended up paying one for $7. But the Instacart lady just bought one because that's all I ordered. Avocado, tomatoes, strawberries, tortillas in the back there, some shredded lettuce, and some spinach. And that's what we've got for the grocery haul this week. Let's end this video by looking at something cute. How cute are these? If I was in a better state of health, I would be making things like this. I've got so much that I want to do and I can hardly do it at all because of uh, my illness. But regardless, I want to thank you for sticking around, listening to my congestion as I do a grocery haul. Hopefully I can start cooking so I can make some more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.